morning students uh, i am ajit sahu and today we are going to discuss about the first chapter force for class 10 icsc so the topic is moment of force this moment of force uh, this moment of force can also be called as clark on we can say this one as a turning effect turning effect so first uh, to know about moment of force we have to know that uh, when we apply force on a body then it, the body which is initially at rest may be at rest or may be in a state of uh, motion may be linear motion or circular motion suppose in a static body we apply a force the body start to be change its state of motion on rest motion or rest suppose initially body is at rest we apply a force the body is free to move then by the application of force the body start to move linearly along the direction of the force so suppose we consider this is as a body and we apply a force in this direction this is the force applied then we consider some of the point of the body like right? this one is point as a this one be point b and this one be point c and this one be point o so after application of this force the body is like the body and each of the point of the body moves toward this and if you consider about the point c this one also like this from the the motion of the point b this one also in the same direction point o this one in the same direction so that means after application of this force each point of this body which is free to move in a linear this is free to move in a linear direction then under the application of this force each point of the body moves toward this so every point the motion of every point of the body is parallel see the line that shows the motion of every points in the body are parallel to one another and this type of motion is called translational sometimes we call this linear motion so this is the first condition when the body is free to move suppose we take another body which is not free to move which is fixed or pivoted at any point suppose this one we consider as the body p e. this one is the point o this is the point o this body is pivoted at a point suppose we take the point o here uh, yeah. okay we just take another body like right? uh, this one is the body and here is the point o and this point it, the body is fixed in such a way that if force is applied like this on the body the body try to that means the body has been pivoted at the point fixed at that point if we apply the force the body will not go in the distance so by the application of this force the body will move like this you know circular so if you consider here a point suppose this one is a point so by the application of this force the point a will move in this direction like this yes if we erase this part then we can consider like this point will move like this in this near like suppose we consider one more point this is suppose b point so this b under this under the application of this force and this b will the point b in the body will go like this so such kind of motion where the point each points of the body rotates about a pivoted point here o is the parallel then this type of motion where each point of the body and even you can say the whole body pivoted at a point o rotates about the axis o then this type of motion is called rotational motion now you have seen that both the linear motion as well as the rotational motion are due to the application of force 
maybe uh, there may be some uh, specific position where the force to be applied. Okay, now we come to the point that is moment of force. Now, if the force applied on the body, then we can say this is the turning effect. This force, this force produces the turning effect of the pivoted body. Now, again we consider a plus diagram. Like suppose this one be the body and this is the pivoted point O. Now, suppose we apply a force in this direction at this particular point. Now, see, this is the pivoted axis and this is the direction of force. So if we extend the line, then the dotted line show the line, the straight line, the line of action of force. This dotted line shows the line of action of force. Now we find out what is the if O is a pivoted point, then from this line of action, what is the perpendicular distance from this pivoted point? Now see this one this will be the this will be the distance OP gives the distance of the pivotal point O from the line of action of force F. Suppose this is the point, this point is represented as the point A. So the force is applied in a direction A P. So this force is along A P and here OP is the distance distance from the what? from the pivoted point and to the line of action of force. Now if we want to produce a turning effect in this particular body, then we have to apply a force. So whatever the turning effect will produce, it completely depended the magnitude of the force. If we apply greater force, then the turning effect that will be produced will be greater. And if we reduce the magnitude of the force, then again the turning effect will also reduce. There is one more factor, that means to produce a turning effect, force is one of the factors. So if I say what are the factors on which the turning effect, on which the turning on which the turning effect will depend. The first one is the force, the magnitude of the force. And the second factor on which the turning effect will depend. See, first you consider if A is the point. So, this OP gives a distance from the line of action from the pivotal point. Okay, now suppose we take another point, here it is B. So, if the force, same force, if the same force we apply at the point B, then this, this is the line of action, this P, P dash is the line of action. This P, P dash is the line of action. So now the same force is applied, but now the distance from the pivotal point to the line of action of force is reduced down. So and on that case, we will say the turning effect will also reduce. So, so the second factor on which the turning effect, that is the moment of force, is dependent is the perpendicular distance, perpendicular distance from the pivoted point from O to line of action. Clear? Yeah. So, if there are two factors on which the turning effect, that is basically called moment of force, is dependent upon, then by considering those two factors combining that means by considering both the factors at once, we 
we can say that the moment the moment of force depend upon depend upon the product the product of the two factor that is the product of the first factor is magnitude of applied force and the second factor that is the perpendicular perpendicular distance from the pivoted point to the line of action of force clear so mathematically we can write so mathematically we can write this moment of force is equal to this f into this is the magnitude this f is the magnitude into o p o p is actually the distance so for this condition when force is applied at the point a then the moment of force will be equal to force into the perpendicular distance o p okay here yeah. so this actually gives the expression to find out the moment of force this is actually the measurement of moment of force now moment of force is a combination of two different quantities one of them is force and other is length so the multiplication of force and length will give a new quantity that is moment of force so now we will all know that force when we consider about force so we have to consider that what should be the direction of the force maybe the direction of the force like if we at the ball this see now this is the application of force but now if we consider if we consider the force that we apply is now opposite to the previous direction so this one be the force so actually we can say that the force is now the force is now along p a okay this is the perpendicular distance okay so now if we consider this force which is actually equal to the previous force then we can say that this force f is now negative negative as compared to the previous force initially we applied force along uh, if we say the plane of black plane of uh, plane of this board then we can say that the force is applied vertically upward now as we see the force is applied vertically downward so then we can say the force changes its direction now the force is negative so the quantity moment of force is also become negative that is mean that means simply that the turning moment will also be negative opposite to the previous direction initially when the force is applied upward when the force is applied upward like this at that time the body will rotate like this it will go first upward then comes downward so that means this gives an anti clockwise direction anti clockwise rotation now if we change the direction of the force then as we see here the body will move like this so this will give a clockwise direction so as we see initially we applied the force which is taken as positive force so the body will rotate about the axis at o along uh, the anti clockwise direction the rotation is anti anti clockwise but if we reverse the direction of the force the rotation will be clockwise direction so if force f is positive is taken as positive and the direction of the uh, rotation is anti clockwise so the moment of force is also be taken as positive so that means simply the moment of force is a newly introduced quantity is also depend 